Dami Deo was not fortunate to have seen her husband before marriage arrangements were made. She shared how her father went about the entire thing. My father was a sin. And when he called the sin from Gandhi Village in Trakur, he tell one of the family he want a ball. He tell the writer to get it. And then he get this man, he named Deo. And he's so I married. It was a challenge being a new bride. For many young brides like Dami Deo, it was a learning experience. Life as a parent was sometimes harsh. The high infant mortality rate at the time wasn't unusual given the poor medical conditions and lack of adequate sanitation practices. When I have 14 years, I have a child, I have a child. And he did. I have three boys here and he three and dead. And then I have seven children living. Three girls and four boys. In those days, chores weren't limited to just cooking and cleaning. If you hold the video, we have to sweep, we have to repair the house. Go dot and go over. Dot from a good way to dot. From the line. And go over. We have to do it. The sun is so much. We need it. We have to repair the house every week. We have to grow house. Women were required to have special symbols tattooed on their forearms to ensure their food is acceptable. But my father lucky, small brother wife take me a lot to do this thing. I had to sit down she lap. I sit down in the room and put me on top she lap to sit down. And then I read this. But when, he, when they do this and they nap it with that, they have a do do so big. So big, they were to shake it in the road, then they do the road, nap it. Every time they were to pass in, every week they were to pass. Who wanted to? But you have people like that now. All the people there, they just, they all don't want to see you. They pray the needle, you have seven needles, tie in one thing, you know, and it take like your hand, seven needles. And they, and from the middle, they burn it like a tape, how much to go in your hand. You can't overshow it. So, that they go sing and they go study. They go close their hand and they go sing. And they know which part they be in that. They go sing, study. My mother, two of them in that car. My man and the wife. But, they say if old people when we married, old people, so my father law wasn't from India, he was from Trinidad. They were so out of it, who would be home. They say, you are not a proper wife for the house in Hindi. My father law said, you are not a proper wife for the house. This is the mark to have, to have, to have. And when they give me food, when you give me food, then I will go to heaven. Because when you give me the food, when you give me the food, I go it halfway, halfway, because I go know you had it good now. But when you had it, maybe it in the belly food. Sambari Doon is 103 years old, and she was born on the ship during its voyage from India to Trinidad. Her daughter, Phyllis Doon, shares her mother's experience. My grandparents came from Patna, India, that's not India. My, grand, my uh, maternal grandfather was a cook on the ship and um, my grandmother was just about 25 years old and he encouraged her to come to Trinidad because they said cheese, so they thought well Trinidad has gold, a land of gold, you know. And um, on that voyage, my grandmother was pregnant and um, my grandfather happened to die on the journey and they threw him overboard. So when my grandmother and my mother came to Trinidad 
um, the immigration wanted to send her back. But then this guy saw my grandmother, maybe he liked her on the ship or something, and he begged him not to send her back, that he'll take care of him, of her. And then he was warned because, as they said, he was sending her back to India. And he was really a darling. He married my grandmother and he had a son by the name of Linda. Undeniably, the East Indian community has had and continues to have an indelible influence on the development of our twin island state. Their forefathers have left a trail of legacies that have permeated all sectors of our plural and democratic society. They brought with them a rich culture of music, song and dance, and one that has left an indelible mark in the historical landscape of our country, the region and the world at large.